Jojo TV. It was a beautiful morning in the forest. A group of hens went into the river to have a bath. The hens had a good time and were returning to their homes. When the hens were returning, there was a crocodile waiting for them. <laughs> hmm? Crocodile saw an opportunity and attacked. The hens saw that and ran away. Oh no! The crocodile got angry and started chasing them. And it got close to one of the hens and ate it. The remaining hens ran away faster. The remaining hens ran away faster and hid themselves from the crocodile. There was a snake nearby watching all of this. There they are. Crocodile continued to chase them and got himself stuck in the trees. Hens got very scared and went running towards the river. Yes! Crocodile saw that and jumped into the water to attack them. And ate another hen. The last hen got scared and got out of the water. And then a snake came towards them and a fight broke out between snake and crocodile. The snake killed the crocodile and went after the hen. In this village, there used to live two chickens in the hen house. These hens were pecking around in the yard. Suddenly, there was a crocodile and a snake approaching the hen house. While the chickens were pecking around, they found a stash of corn. The chickens hid that corn stash for later and started guarding it. Hey, did you see that? Looks like they have seen us hiding the stash. Hey, Snake, let's go and steal that corn stash for us. Yeah, let's go. I am feeling very hungry. Crocodile and Snake advances towards the hens, and the hens got scared and ran away. There it is. Let's eat and have a feast. <laughs> Crocodile and Snake were enjoying the corn, and the hens were watching them from the distance, feeling regretful. Hey, we should have shared corn with them. Let's go and request them. Guys, we apologize for misbehaving with you. Can you please share the corn with us? That's all right. We accept your apology. Let's share the corn together. Thank you guys so much. Finally, all of them got together and were enjoying the corn. <laughs> Looks like everyone is having a good time. Okay, guys, take care. We will see you later. Crocodile and Snake went back into the forest. The hens told goodbye to them and went back into their house. The hens cuddled each other warmly. Magical snake. Chandan was coming home after cutting some wood. On the way, he saw a well. I am very thirsty. Let me drink some water. Oh no, this well doesn't have a rope. How do I pull the water out? Chandan was very thirsty. What do I do? Suddenly, then he saw a snake coming there. Oh, 
No, such a big snake. He will definitely bite me. Help me, somebody, please help me. Don't worry. I won't bite you. Come, come with me. You are thirsty, right? Yes, I am very thirsty. But how can you speak? I have never seen a talking snake. <laughs> come with me. The snake takes Chandan back to the well and becomes a rope. What? The snake turns into a rope? Chandan used the rope to pull out water from the well and he finally drinks water. Wow! Really? You are a magical snake. Yes, I am a magical snake. I can turn into anything. You need not to be scared of me. I have seen you in the forest many times. You are a good human. Thank you so much. I was very scared of snakes before. But now I am not scared anymore. You are really very good. Thank you. Now you do not need to worry. Whenever you come to the forest and become thirsty, remember me. I will be there for you, my dear. Thank you very much. Sure, now we are friends. You helped me a lot. Bye. We will meet soon, my dear snake. Bye-bye. Chandan thanked the snake and went home back. Chandan is a good human being. Great good comes with good people. In a village there lived a girl named Nana. Her mind was just like a small child. She was very innocent. One day, Nana's mother, Jamuna, said to her, Oh, Nana, why are you playing here? Groom's family has come to see you. Come, let's go home. The groom's family look at Nana's beauty and accept her. In a few days, she gets married and went to her in-law's home. One night, when her husband woke up, he saw Nana playing with dolls. My dear doll, I love you. My car is the fastest. My doll is the cutest. <laughs> Nana, what are you doing? Dheeraj ignored it by laughing, but gets worried when he saw her playing for long. Oh, stop this. What are you doing? Stop playing with dolls just like kids. Suddenly, Dheeraj's mother comes and scolds Nana and throws her out of the house. Nana comes her home crying. Oh, Nana, why have you come here so late at night? Mother, they threw me out of the house and called me mad. Nana's mother gets very upset. Nana becomes very sad and her parents worry about her. One day, Nana goes to the well with her toys and try to jump in it. Suddenly, a witch's voice comes. Don't worry, child. I'm your friend. Tell me, why did you want to die? Nana tells her everything. Don't worry. Take this magical key. Use this in your toys and make them real. Nana comes home with the magical key. Whichever toy she puts the key, it becomes real. Then puts the key in another toy and it becomes a handsome man. And she married with him. She becomes happier. When Dheeraj got to know about the magical key, he came to Nana's house and steals it. But when he used it on his toys, his mother and his house became toys. Oh my God, what happened? Mom, you became a doll. It's all my fault. I will return the key to Nana and say sorry to her. Dheeraj realized his mistake and apologized to Nana. Dheeraj's mother again becomes human and his house turns back. Moral of the story, 
we should never make fun of others and never be jealous in the village there lived a beautiful girl named disha she was very pretty and beautiful but naughty too one day her mother said what if you marry an ugly man no mother i will only marry a handsome man i don't like ugly people disha was very proud of her beauty one day while working in the kitchen she slipped and a pot of hot milk fell on her face even after trying lots of methods her face looks disfigured her face burned <laughs> who will marry me now my face is burnt i want to die mom i don't want to live disha and her family become sad one day disha goes to the river to die there she saw a saint meditating the saint stops her oh saint please let me die no one will marry me any more love doesn't depends on how you look even if it doesn't then it is not true love please try to understand my child i do not believe in this i just want my face back can you help me the saint gives disha a magical mirror take this magical mirror my child you will look whatever you wish to look like really disha takes the mirror home her face becomes better than ever wow now i am more beautiful thank you so much mirror disha gets married to a nice man in a few days a few months later suddenly disha becomes sick and marks form on her entire body her beauty goes away now she is ignored by her husband oh no magical mirror please turn me beautiful again please a few days later disha becomes beautiful again and her husband likes her again but seeing this disha becomes sad so my husband only loved my beauty and not me the saint was right disha goes to the saint oh saint take this mirror back i don't need it oh mirror return my face If my husband loves me as I am then it is fine but if he doesn't I will still love myself as I am I am really happy with my face in a village there lived a rich lady named Nandini she had a big house a large farm lots of money but she had no servant she made her daughter-in-law do all her work Her daughter-in-law was very nice. Oh, is the work done or not, huh? Almost done, mother. Ah, you lived here for 10 years, but you still don't know the rules and regulations of the house. Nandini used to scold her very much, but she never felt sad. Nandini loved a neat and clean home, and daughter-in-law always kept cleaning the house. Radha come clean the garden it's very dirty oh my god okay mother i will clean it poor radha kept on working make some paneer and parathas today in the dinner okay okay mother radha kept working all day long radha had a brother named vansh who came to meet her sometime Radha look your brother has come Radha becomes happy by seeing her brother Radha becomes energized Radha's husband couldn't say anything to his mother On the occasion of Rakhi Radha kept waiting for her brother Oh your brother didn't come today huh 
Late in the evening, her brother comes, rather happily tied, Rakhi to her brother. Once went out and two men entered with a big box. Radha opened the box and saw that it was a washing machine. By seeing the machine, she got happy and her mother also. Oh brother, you made my work easier. Now I will only have to wash the dishes and cook food. Oh my God! After saying this, suddenly the entire housework gets done. Food gets ready and the dishes become clean. Seeing this Radha, her brother and her mother were in shock. How did this happen? We were just talking about it and all done. Then a sound came from a machine. Hello everyone, I am a magical machine which your brother has bought. I did all this. Your brother is a nice man. He cares for you a lot. Now I will do all the work. Seeing the machine, they all become happy because now they have the machine to do all their work. That is why whatever we buy with all our heart is always fruitful.